This video is sponsored by Artlist. Hey guys, Flo from Off to Lens here. I'm a Francis Friend and filmmaker based in French Alps, and today we're talking gear, and more specifically lenses, and my favorite one, the Contax Zeiss 28mm 2.8. If you have been following me for a little while now, you know that I own a set of Contax Zeiss lenses, and I absolutely love them. They all share the same beautiful look and character, but I love my 28mm the most. It is my favorite lens that I own, period. In this video, I want to talk about why I love this lens, how I use it, my experience shooting with it, and what to look for if you're thinking of getting one. If you are interested in these lenses, feel free to also watch my full review of the set. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this one, and let's jump into it. First of all, here are a few specs about this lens. It is a Contax Zeiss 28mm with an aperture of 2.8. This is the MM version, like the rest of my kit, and it was made in Japan in the 90s. I bought it in Sydney in 2019 for the very good price of around 350 Australian dollars, which is pretty amazing considering the state that it's in. This one is not modded, which means that I haven't changed the mount to suit my camera and that the aperture ring is in the click. I just use a very affordable adapter, and you can find the link in the description if you want. If you are interested in getting this lens, I would suggest to look on eBay or any second-hand online platform such as Facebook, Craigslist, Gumtree, etc. Why getting this lens in the first place? I have talked about it before, but the main reason for me to get my Contax Zeiss lenses was that I always wanted a set of high-quality primes. I shoot a lot of my content with zoom lenses, especially for documentary work, but shooting with primes is such a nice experience and always forces me to think more about composition. I had the option to either go with modern cinema glass, modern stills lenses, or vintage ones. I chose to go with vintage stills lenses, and a Contax Zeiss in particular, for a lot of reasons, but mostly because they are affordable, they are high quality pieces of glass, and they're also a good investment since they keep their value very well. These lenses also happen to be neutral, which means that they don't have too much of a look, and can be used on lots of different projects, and are also easy to adapt. The reason I decided to get the 28mm as the first one is that 28mm is a focal length that allows you to shoot pretty much everything. You can film people, you can shoot landscape, you can film in the city, and I even found it wide enough to put on a gimbal. My thinking was that I would just start with this one and see how I liked it before committing to the rest, and then get the others to complete my kit based on my style of shooting and needs. After shooting for a few days, I was hooked. I then bought the 50mm 1.7, the 85 2.8, and later the 18mm f4. How I have used it. So, so far I have used this lens for personal and documentary content, as well as outdoors. I even shot a whole mini documentary with just this lens. Despite having a vintage prime lens that doesn't communicate with the camera, and that is a lot less versatile than my Canon zoom lenses, I find myself shooting with it more often than not, since I love the look so much. I use this lens on my BMPCC 6K and 6K Pro, and it is a near perfect match for me. But since the lens covers full frame sensors as well, and is easily adaptable, you could use this on many different cameras. So why I love this lens? I repeat, this is my favorite lens, not the most useful for my work, so the reasons that make me love this lens are not based on use or versatility, but more about feeling. First of all, the image is beautiful. I have said it before, but every time I shoot with my contact Zeiss lenses, everything looks so much better, more organic. It has more depth, and the colors are stunning. I shot this cherry blossom tree in your house for example, and the image that came out of it was just amazing. I did shoot similar content on my Canon lenses before, and whilst it looked great, it didn't have the same quality. On this documentary, you can see the amount of details also retained in full brightness, without even using a diffuser. It deals with contrast extremely well. This 28mm is also solidly built. It is made of metal, and feels quite heavy for its size. It also has a long focus throw which makes it very nice and comfortable to shoot with, without being too long like a proper cinema lens if you do not use a full focus. I still prefer to use one when I can in most cases, and I use the Tilter Mini, but sometimes I just focus by hand as well. This lens is small enough and light enough to do so. The fact that this lens is quite small makes it easy to pack and also easy to use handheld. And finally, it looks cool. This is of course not a reason to get a lens at all, but the fact that it does look like this is a plus. I love gear, so when a lens looks like this, it makes me want to use it even more. Now here's a quick word about today's sponsor, Artlist. Artlist is a website where you can find music and SFX for your projects. I have been using it every week for 3 years now, for YouTube of course, but also for all my commercial and documentary work. What attracted me to Artlist in the first place is their one subscription, one universal royalty free license, and a limited song download system. I have already made a full dedicated video about it, so feel free to check it out. 
And don't forget to use the link in the description to get an extra 2 months when you subscribe to Artlist. Final thoughts and what to look for. As mentioned before, this is a lens I fell in love with for reasons that you might not agree with. But if you do intend to get a contact size 28mm or a different focal length for that matter, here are a few things that you should know about. These lenses are old and will never be as new, so watch out for dust, fungus and scratches, especially on glass. There's also a lot of chromatic aberration that you can see here, so this can be an issue depending on the job. Do not rush in buying one, find the right one or wait for it. It took me a month to find some of my contact Zeiss lenses. And finally, do some research on Reddit or get in touch with people on dedicated Facebook groups to learn more about them. Also, keep in mind that today these are not cheap, but to me, they are 100% worth it. Hope you have enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what is your favorite lens if you have one. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.